Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. I have some ideas that I want to share with you discussing rainfall. I want to discuss in this video how the rich keep getting richer and how water wars is not just endemic to Maui and Hawaii, but the entire world is in a water war. They're doing it through cloud seeding. So there is only so much available water on earth, folks, and it stays relatively steady. What is happening right now around the entire world is you're seeing scientists and military personnel doing things like cloud seeding, which looks like this. So you've got weather stations that are monitoring for what might be possibly a cloud in the sky that might produce rain. Then they send up a plane and they're saying here in this picture that you're looking at, they're using salt, but they're also using toxic chemicals in some situations. They make the water in the cloud heavier than natural and it falls down to the earth ahead of schedule, interfering with earth's natural water cycle. In my opinion, the way I look at this is when they are cloud seeding, they are stealing water that should fall somewhere else and making it fall ahead of time on them. So the rich keep, continue to get richer and the poor continue to be poor. Governments and corporations are legitimately trying to steal the water from the sky above, making it fall when it was not a natural time for it to fall in a place it was not meant to fall. Therefore, they're literally throwing a roadblock into the earth's natural primitive rhythm of rain, folks. So droughts around the world are gonna to continue to get worse. Floods are gonna to continue to get worse. Rain's gonna come down unexpected. Let me, let me explain it to you. See these clouds above my head. If planes came up right now and cloud seeded those and made them produce rain on a day it was not meant to rain in the earth cycle, these clouds that were heading out of Louisiana into Mississippi might be ready to drop rain by the time they get to Mississippi, but they seed them here in Louisiana and cause the water that's in them to come down on me versus the people who live in Mississippi. Louisiana got the water, Mississippi did it. Therefore, interfering with the natural cycle of how water falls on the earth. Now that is the most simple way that I can bring that knowledge to you. And the reason I'm doing it is I had someone say, why are we having droughts, Sam? Why are we having droughts? We can cloud seed, we can manipulate the weather. Why, why don't people just make it rain everywhere? It doesn't work like that, folks. It does not work like that. There's cycles. The earth has cycles. And what you're seeing with all these governments, corporations, universities, messing with the weather, it is causing severe storms. It is causing severe droughts. It is causing severe flooding. I think they're doing it with way more than just the weather. I think they're doing it through frequency, through sound. They're doing it through CERN and all of this stuff they're shooting into the atmosphere. Let's start with evaporation. The water in lakes, rivers, oceans, sun comes down, heats it up, it evaporates back up into the sky. As that evaporated water rises higher into the sky, gets higher and higher, it cools down and begins to condensate, creating clouds. When the water droplets in the clouds begin to combine and it begins to get too heavy, it falls. That comes down in water, hail, sleet, snow, rain. Then of course you have runoff as it's raining and the ground can't soak it up quick enough. It runs off like you guys have seen me show you here on my farm, every, all the water running into the pond and then pouring out of the pond into the ditch that goes into a canal that goes into the river. That is runoff. Of course, my favorite is infiltration. Now infiltration is a curious thing. If you've been watching any of my videos for any amount of time, 
I talk to you constantly about ways that you can trap water around your crops and the food that you're growing so that you then don't have to water it during periods of time where there is no natural rain. So the best way to get your soil to absorb water is keep it covered with a heavy mulch so that that mulch slows the water down and then it drips slowly into the soil, causing it to absorb that water and then it filters down through the deep layers of the earth, guys, and it's trapped in reservoirs. It's trapped in natural springs. It recharges the ground. Water. But unfortunately for America and most developed countries, the way that we grow food has destroyed the soil's ability to absorb water and refill underground aquifers. Therefore, we're running out of water. And when droughts come, you're seeing it in Idaho. I, I, I mean, Idaho, um, Ohio, Oregon, soon to be Washington and California. You're seeing them say there's not enough water for everybody, so we're just gonna cut the water off. Can't water your lawn. Can't wash your car. You can't grow food because we don't have enough water for everyone. It's not that the earth is running out of water. It's that we are not using the water properly. And now that countries, businesses, military are cloud seeding, they are causing the clouds to drop rain in areas that it was not meant for. So say, let's just use California. Let's pick on California, folks. Say California. It's a rich state. They have cloud seeding. It's a proven fact. They cloud seed, cloud seed, cloud seed. And then the clouds that say would make it to Idaho and drop water never do. Because it, they're making the water drop in California. So then the clouds dissipate and Idaho continues in a severe drought for years and years and years. Guys, this isn't rocket science, but you do have to understand the basics behind state to state warfare, country to country warfare, it's a real thing. Cloud seeding should be illegal. There's no purpose for it, except I'm gonna make the waterfall where I want it to versus where God intended it to go. That's it, that's all I got for you right now, guys. Just got out of church, my boys are here. Um, my oldest goes back to Tampa tomorrow. Uh, he makes in his day if he can find a vehicle that he wants to buy. My youngest literally leaves Tuesday morning to go to basic training. He will be gone 13 months between schooling and basic. Still got a daughter in New Zealand. And then my youngest daughter is back home from New Zealand. Folks, we are leaving August 1st through the 12th. We had extended a day to go to Maui. Please pray about it. Ask God how much money you can send for that trip for the fire victims. Um, I'll drop the different ways you can do that. This channel is not monetized. So if you just want to donate to the facts and the information we bring you to show your appreciation, we would be thankful. Please hit the like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.